Welcome friends, followers and transients to my end of year channel update. I thought I would do this just to kind of say thank you for all the support over the last year. It's been a bit of a rocky year for me, uh, especially kind of the latter part of the year. It started off fairly bright and kind of personal issues uh, have got in the way and, you know, it's, it's been a little bit strange, I suppose. Um, but we hit, a, we hit a milestone of 4,000 subscribers this year, uh, which is fantastic. We've been lingering around there for the past couple of months now, but that's more than likely due to the fact that I've not really had much of a presence on YouTube um, since my slight breakdown, I suppose. Um, I don't want to talk too much about that because um, a, lot of the, a lot of YouTubers out there and streamers come out with depression and stuff all the time, and I don't want to be another statistic. Um, I think it's kind of well known to most of you that follow me now that I do suffer from depression, but we'll leave that there. Um, you know, and I'm working through that, and um, yeah, things are things are starting to get normal, as normal as they can be uh, for someone that suffers such a, an illness, and it is an illness, um, even if it is an invisible one to most people. Um, so, what I want to talk about more than anything, I guess, is um, is about next year. So, from January, I'll be working a lot closer to home which means a lot less traveling um, and that gives me a little bit more time and hopefully I'll be uh, more rested as well because I have to get up really early and I don't like going to bed early either so it's kind of a vicious cycle I don't sleep very much um, and I think that's not helped my kind of videos and stuff like that but hopefully um, because I'll be working so close I will be able to concentrate a little bit more on bringing content to you guys and probably a lot more on Twitch and uh, thank you very much to those guys that have kind of jumped across from YouTube and onto Twitch and supported me pretty much on every stream that I've been on. It's really appreciated. I won't name and shame you, but there's probably about five or six of you that seem to um, always be there on a the stream and, and give that support, which is brilliant. And I will be on there a lot more. And it will be lots of different games as well, so not just city building. I've been playing a lot of Fortnite on there. I say playing. Probably being toyed with by the other people because I'm not very good at it. Um, I've just started um, Seven Days to Die, so if you enjoyed that series, um, that's one to come on there and pick up. And if you don't like Twitch, I guess, um, from a streaming point of view, it does have the videos on demand, so everything gets recorded. I will probably make more of a conscious effort to put those recordings over onto YouTube at some point, but I don't want to be streaming to YouTube anymore. I want to keep the kind of two entities separate if possible. So um, please bear with me on that. Um, I will be starting a City Skylines series very soon. I'm getting a little bit bored and tired of Banished. Um, I don't know if that comes across in my videos, um, but there's been no new real content to that for quite a while. So I'm just rehashing the same things over and over. And that's why there's such a space between episodes as well, because if I'm not feeling it, it makes it difficult. Um, it might be one of those series that I don't finish, unfortunately, and I apologize for those of you that are excited about it. But when one game that I feel I have to play, it kind of has a knock-on effect to the other games that I then don't bother playing. And I kind of, uh, yeah, I don't want to be in that position, not with the way my mind is at the moment anyway. So uh, City Skylines is definitely coming. I don't think it'll be this side of Christmas. I'm going to try. Um, but with Christmas being what it is, and I'll be traveling home to Manchester... Uh, for a little while over Christmas as well to spend time with my family uh, which means probably not a lot of videos I'll see what I can do between now and then but there's only a few days left now before Christmas so we shall see but um, I'm hoping that next year brings some interesting stuff I've I've got a few ideas to bring to the channel um, for next year I'm not going to kind of talk about them right now probably nearer the time and for those of you that are, are on my uh, Patreon I will, I've already discussed some of it with you, I guess, but I will continue to uh, throw ideas your way and uh, see what you guys think before the, kind of the final result kind of appears on the channel. Um, I will also be going to some video game conventions next year. I already have one um, booked in for, I think it's March, maybe? Uh, that will be EGX Res. So it's not the main convention itself, but it's more the indie game one that follows after it. And uh, I'm really looking forward to that. I got press tickets to that, so I feel kind of super important. And I will be vlogging that. Um, at the moment, I really only have the old iPhone. Um, well, I say old, it's the 8 Plus, so it's one of the new ones. And I have somewhere uh, a digital camera, but it doesn't. you can't plug a microphone into it, so I'm not too sure how that will be. But I'm going to try them both out, and I will vlog those. Um, I'm also looking forward to, and I, I use that loosely because I don't know if I'll be able to get tickets or not yet but I would like to go to uh, PDXCon next year 
primarily to look at Surviving Mars, and I will be covering that game on my channel um, as soon as I get access to it. They're looking at a spring launch, I believe, so it probably won't be too long to wait, but I, I'm really, I'm really, really, really looking forward to that game, and I would love to go to PDXCon, so um, as soon as those tickets are on sale, I'm hoping to grab a bunch, and again, I will more than likely vlog that. As for the other conventions, I looked at some um, for America, some are already kind of got the tickets on sale, but they're kind of super expensive for me to get there, so we'll see. But um, I would like to vlog some of that sort of stuff and just kind of introduce you to, to me outside of the channel and this more animated side. So for those of you that have watched me on Twitch, I've seen me in a kind of a different light sometimes, not, it's not so great, but we'll, we'll brush over that. You guys know what I'm talking about, that I've seen that. But um, it's it's a little bit different, and uh, obviously I get to interact with you, so I'm hoping that kind of makes things a little bit more interesting. Um, and I will probably talk about my life and stuff, not that it's kind of super amazing and super interesting, but you know, it just lets you know who who I am as a person, who who is Vapor. Um, I'm not going to tell you what my name is, of course, but not yet. Anyway, maybe in the future, but I'd like I'd like people to know me as Vapor before anything else. And there's nothing worse than when somebody knows your real name and your alias and then they start calling you by your real name. I'm like, don't do that. <laughs> it's super weird to me. Anyway, um, I'm just going to sit here rambling uh, more, more than likely. But I just again, I want to reiterate. Thank you so much for the support, especially around the August time. Like people came out of the woodwork that I've not seen comment on any of my videos in a long time. And some of you that have been around since day one. Um, and that was that was really appreciated. It, I think it kind of made me more upset in a sense because I didn't realize how many people cared and continue to care. And I just see myself as a normal person. And I am a normal person. I'm not famous, nothing like that. Um, but still, there is people out there that care. And you come along, you watch my content, whether it's on YouTube or whether it's on Twitch, and you support me, and and you always have a kind word to say, and it's just like I'm, I'm I'm nobody, but you guys come along and do that. It's it's surreal, it really is, and um, it just shows you that there is some good in the world, and there is nice people out there, and and that's that's truly a beautiful thing, uh, for for a lack of sounding slightly cheesy. Anyway, on that note. It just leaves me to wish everybody a happy Christmas. Maybe a poor choice of words in this kind of kind of world that we live in now. Is it season's greetings? There we go. Let's go with something a little bit more all-encompassing. Um, I hope everyone um, enjoys their time off work and enjoys time with their families. And um, I hope that the new year brings everybody a lot more happiness and wealth. Because, hey, wealth doesn't bring happiness. But if you've got happiness and wealth, you're going to be super happy. And don't forget to continue watching my videos of course uh, just on a, a final note i probably should have said this at the beginning for those of you that are subscribed because i guess a few people may watch this that are not um there's a little kind of little cog next to the subscribe button when you watch a video make sure you got the notification bell switched on um it's really important and i'll probably bring this up in a separate video at another another time but just because you are subscribed to me doesn't mean youtube will tell you i've uploaded it's a very complex system. Now, if I take somebody like Kasra, Kasra comments in every video. So more than likely, YouTube would be like, oh, Kasra likes Vapor very much. So let's tell Kasra straight away that he's uploaded a video. And that's what it'll do. But if you're someone that kind of ducks in and dives in occasionally to different bits and pieces, it may not ever tell you I've just uploaded something. And you'll find out a month later I've started a series that you're really interested in and, and you kind of already feel slightly behind. So that's really important. Um, I do believe when you subscribe, it does kind of prompt that action now. Uh, but for those of you that are already subscribed, it, it wouldn't. So if you're wondering why you're not always seeing my content or you're finding out really late, that would be why. So uh, yeah, if, if you want if you want that, and I promise not to pester with millions of uploads, um, I definitely recommend it. Anyway, on that note, Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for a lovely year. I will see you in the next one. But until next time, as always, take care. And I've just realized, while I end, I could have actually worn my Christmas hat. Wouldn't that have been a little bit more like, you know, a little bit more festive, hey? <laughs>